energy reliance is on the rise. And one way to supply this is by turning to renewable energy sources. In Cameroon city of Douala, the task has been taken up by the Green Girls Project, an NGO that trains young women on how to turn waste into renewable energy. The project's founder and CEO, Monique Ntumgia, says the idea was born out of necessity. When I was in Kano in Nigeria, and I was program officer in charge of gender and human rights, so we were sharing didactic materials, empowering girls in this community in Kano on how to go to school and the benefits of education. And one of the girls approaches me and asks me, Madam, we don't have light, so how do we use these books and all these um, things, educational tools you're giving us? And then it hits me that there was a real need for, for light. As one student explains, by turning waste into biogas, the project is tackling pollution and providing cheap, renewable energy solutions in many parts of the country. Anything from discarded fruits to grass, as well as chicken droppings, can now be used as a source of power. I think instead of us going to buy gas outside, we can use biogas because it will be much cheaper. And with biogas that we use, that we create ourselves, we can get um, like sewages or wages from like we can get like purple peelings, banana peelings and make our gases and due to that we'll be able to produce our energy like to cook and to have light or electricity in our homes. The Green Girls Project has partnered with Bioenergy Cameroon, which installs equipment that converts waste from septic tanks and pit latrines into biogas. But before this, the team struggled to sell the idea. Nobody believed in the whole project when we were preparing. We didn't have any support. The language barrier. Because when you're going to communities and you have to empower girls who even go to school, it's a different environment, it's a different scenario. Many say they are relieved to have a new source of electricity, and Monique says a lot more of the girls they train are starting to think of new ideas and new energy solutions. I cannot imagine that girls told us after the training, like the same day after the training, in one of the communities, um, we were in, in Kambe, the community in, in Cameroon, we were in Kambe, and one of the girls tells us, okay, madam, we do not have this kind of wood, but we can use bamboo, a special kind of bamboo that they have there. She's like, we can, we can use bamboo. Um, and others were saying, okay, we don't have this, but we can use this. Like, the, it was amazing the way they were able to be creative enough and innovative a little time after the, after the training. So far, the project has benefited 3,000 households in regions in northern and southern Cameroon, and demand is growing fast. Leslie Marungu, CGTN.